Mike Perlman here for Techno Buffalo, reporting from my Acadia National Park office with a review of the Canon PowerShot G1X. Is Canon's latest fixed lens model the new Shamu of the point and shoot C? Let's find out after the break. The Canon PowerShot G1X is a very odd duck indeed. This is actually the most exciting point and shoot I've ever seen to date. And the reason is because Canon stuffed the biggest sensor ever stuffed into a fixed lens point and shoot model. It's a 1.5 inch CMOS sensor, which is almost as big as an APS-C size sensor found in entry level to mid level DSLRs. Yes, this sensor is almost as big as the Canon 60Ds. This is something I've been asking manufacturers to do for years, and hallelujah, they finally did it. Now since the G1X's sensor is the entree in this feast, we're going to start out right with image quality. Needless to say, this was the best point and shoot image performance I've ever seen. Still images were crisp, rife with detail, colors were very accurate, and the ISO performance on this camera is awesome. It goes up to 12,800, the noise management is fantastic. So as a still shooter, you really can't get any better than the Canon PowerShot G1X. Now videos were a different story. This camera can capture 1080p at up to 24 frames per second, which means the camera lags behind the 30 and 60 frames per second crowd. Video quality was good, impressive low light performance, not the best though, and the video features were severely lacking on this camera. I couldn't adjust shutter or aperture or ISO while shooting video, and furthermore, the camera lacks a mic jack. That is huge, especially if you're a videographer. So when it came to image quality, this is more of a still performer. This is more for portrait shooters, landscape photographers, and street photographers. Now the Canon PowerShot G1X also has an awesome feature set. We have a shutter speed that goes all the way down to 60 seconds. We also have an aperture range of f2.8 to f16. And you know what that means? I was able to play a lot with depth of field, perspective, and I was able to satisfy my long exposure dreams. Other pro features like a digital level meter and a built-in neutral density filter were available. And this camera offers dynamic range control, exposure bracketing, more professional tools. The external design of the G1X rocks as well. There's a front control dial, rear control dial, exposure compensation dial, shortcut button, I like to refer to the G1X as the Inspector Gadget Camera. Another bonus for 2012 is an updated Variangle LCD. It's a 922,000 dot display this year, which means a better picture compared to the G12's 460K display. The camera has a nice little pop-up flash, but it's rather flimsy. But that's all right because there's a hot shoe on top for mounting an external flash. Canon retained that highly intuitive menu system on the G1X. Playback is fantastic. All the information you could ever ask for. Certain image effects and filters could be applied in post. And speaking of filters and image effects, the Canon PowerShot G1X has a slew of them, including an HDR mode with old standbys like Toy Camera, Super Vivid, and Color Accent. But my favorite mode to shoot in by far was manual mode, thanks to the bounty of manual controls available on the G1X. Now I'm going to throw some cons at you. First we'll start with the optical viewfinder, which was a veritable joke. The optical viewfinder on the G1X is so small and distorted that it's virtually useless. Also I expected a little better battery life out of the G1X, and I found the autofocus to be a bit sluggish. In addition, this camera has a slow burst rate at 4.5 frames per second. That's really not fast compared to the competition in this price range. But perhaps the most disconcerting thing about the PowerShot G1X was its lack of macro ability. We're talking an 8 inch minimum distance you had to be from your subject. You'll also see the effects of that in video mode where it's almost impossible to focus on subjects that are close up. In addition, the lens protrudes like a telescope out of this camera, even at the widest position. So now it's time for the Buffalo Call with the Canon PowerShot G1X. I spent a great deal of time with this camera. I even used it to shoot the entire Ford Escape video coming up soon on TechnoBuffalo.com. While I felt video mode was lacking and I couldn't do any macro shooting with this camera, its still image performance was by far its strongest weapon, courtesy of that giant 1.5 inch CMOS sensor on the inside. If you're a street photographer, landscaper, portrait photographer, if you like shooting long exposures and you're looking for a more portable solution compared to a DSLR, the Canon PowerShot G1X will suit you just fine. You'll be best friends in no time. 
But if you're a videographer and someone who needs that macro versatility, you're going to want to wait for the refresh of the Canon PowerShot G1X, as hopefully Canon will address some of my concerns, or wait for my review on the Fujifilm X10 coming up soon. For the entire in-depth review of the Canon PowerShot G1X, be sure to go to technobuffalo.com. It's rife with image samples, video samples, and more in-depth analysis. So please go check that out at technobuffalo.com. This has been Mike Perlman for Techno Buffalo with the Canon PowerShot G1X review. And remember, folks, keep snapping.